Also in the news this morning, the president is going to be unveiling a plan to overhaul financial rules in the United States with the biggest changes since the Great Depression. NBC's White House correspondent Savannah Guthrie has more this morning. Hey, Savannah, good morning. Good morning, Anne. As you know, the economic crisis is far from over, but the president wants to change the rules of the road now for the financial system so it doesn't happen again. After billions in Wall Street bailouts, caused in part by big banks' risky behavior, the White House is announcing plans to beef up regulation. The president with CNBC's John Harwood. We want to make sure that we're uh, getting uh, the best possible regulatory framework in place so that we're not repeating the mistakes of the past. In the new plan, the Federal Reserve would get more power to monitor huge firms like AIG that were allowed to get so big, their failure threatened the entire financial system. And the administration will call for a new federal agency to protect consumers of financial products like credit cards. But there won't be a streamlining of the hodgepodge of federal agencies that now regulate the financial system, a decision the president defended. So our, our overall concept has been not to completely abandon those aspects of the system that worked, but rather focus on those aspects of the system that didn't try to close gaps. But some Republicans say it's just more government. I'm worried that what we're seeing here is laying on top of the existing patchwork of regulation another layer without addressing the problems underneath. Well, now it's up to Congress to pass the president's plan. That will be the hard part. And they're right. hoping to get something passed by the end of the year. All right.